Hello everyone, this is Dr. Zaidi. Welcome to my YouTube channel, ZTube. Today we are going to compare weighted average method and a FIFO method. In this example, example number one, we are going to calculate the number of equivalent units for direct material and the number of equivalent units for conversion cost under the weighted average method and under the FIFO method. So Z Corporation adds 20% of the material at the beginning of the process and remaining 80% when the process is 50% complete. Now this question is different from the other questions I posted on my YouTube channel um, in a sense that here the material is added at two different point in time. 20% of the material is added at the beginning of the process while remaining 80% when the process is half completed, right? 50% completed. Now Z had 100,000 units, 25% completed at the beginning um, of the period. So you have 100,000 units that are 25% completed. Then two, 200,000 units were started during the period, so added more units now. And then 50,000 units were 10% completed at the end of the period. So in the ending inventory, we have 50,000 units that are 10% completed. Calculate the whole units and the equivalent units for direct material and conversion cost. So we are going to start with the beginning working process here. In the beginning working process, the units are given. We have 100,000 units, 25% completed. So we are going to enter 100,000 here. And then it started during the period. So if you look at here, 200,000 units were started during the period. So that's given in the question. You add 200,000 units. So that makes 300,000 units in total. What we do is we are going to add column C8, C8 and C9. That makes 300,000 units, total units to account for. Work in process beginning 100,000 and then 200,000 units are started during the period. Now we move on to calculating the equivalent units for direct material and conversion cost. So first we are gonna do weighted average method. So completed and transferred out during the current period, that information is not provided. However, what we have is we have the ending working process. The ending working process has 50,000 units. So we are going to enter that information. We also calculated units to account for in our um, whole units part, 300,000. So we can enter that information, 300,000, right there. So now we can back solve for completed and transferred out. If you have seen my uh, YouTube video regarding the algebraic equation, you can use that to back solve for completed and transferred out during the current period. So 300,000 minus 50,000 is gonna give you 250,000 for you are completed and transferred out during the current period. Now, because we are using a weighted average method, so everything we complete and transferred out to the finished goods department is going to be 100% complete in terms of direct material. So we are going to transfer all 250,000 here, regardless of when the material is added, all right? Same as with the conversion cost. We are going to transfer all 250,000 units as they, as they are worked during the current period regardless of what percentage is completed, okay? Now we are in the ending working process. The ending working process is 10% completed. Now look at when we add the material. The first row says that Z Corporation adds 20% of the material at the beginning of the process. That means definitely 20% is added because the process is 10% completed, right? So 20% is added and the remaining 80% when the process is 50% completed. Now look at that. Have we completed 50% process? No, we only completed 10%. So we are not going to add remaining 80%. So that means for direct material, we are only going to add 20% of the 50,000, which is cell C14. Point two zero of cell C14. So that will give you 10,000 units in the ending work in process.
Okay. Now for conversion cost, it says ending working process is 10% completed. So 10% completed. We are going to hit 0 0.10 times cell C14. So that gives you 5,000 units here. Now we're going to add this together. So this will be your direct material D13 and plus D14. Okay, similarly, we'll do same thing for our um, conversion cost. We have cell E. 13 and we have E14. So that will give us the equivalent units for conversion cost, 255,000, and the equivalent units for direct material, which is 260,000. And you can see whole units um, where it says to account for and accounted for is the same. All right. Now we move on to the next one, which is a FIFO method. And here you can see what is the difference between these two methods. Okay, so here we split completed and transferred out into beginning work in process and started and completed. Okay, the ending work in process is provided. So let's enter that information what we have available now. So we have 50,000 units in the ending work in process. Right here, 50,000 units in the ending work in process. And then the number of units to account for, we already calculated 300,000 units. We already calculated to account for in your part one. We don't have to do part one again because part one is the same under both methods. Now we go back and we look at the beginning inventory. The beginning inventory is provided. It says that in the beginning inventory, we have 100,000 units, 25% completed. So we are going to add 100,000 units here. Now it started and completed is missing because what we have here is in the third row, you can see it started during the period, which is not the same as it started and completed. You know, 200,000 units are started, but not necessarily completed or, you know, some may have completed, some may not. So that's what we're going to find out from the 200,000 units that we started, how many we have completed. So we are going to subtract that 100,000 and 50,000 from our total 300,000. So 300,000 minus 50,000 minus 100,000 will give us 150,000 units. So out of 200,000 units that you started during the current period, you only completed 150,000. You have not completed everything that you started. Okay. So that gives you a total of 300,000 units. Now, from beginning work in process, beginning work in process, it says 25% completed. So you add 20% of the material at the beginning of the process and 80% when the process is 50% completed. Now the process is not 50% completed, right? That means you have only already added 20% of the material in the prior period. Remember, this is FIFO. We are going to exclude everything that we have included in the prior period. So the 20% we included in the prior period, we are going to exclude. What is left is the 80% then. So we are going to add only 80% of our 100,000, which is your column C20. All right, so that's 80,000 we have. Now for our conversion cost, it's 25% completed. That means 25% was completed in the prior period. We are going to only work on 75% now. So the remaining is 100% minus 25% is 75%. So 75% times 100,000, which is your cell C20, will give you 7,500. Again, 75,000 for your conversion cost. 
for a started and completed because you started and you completed everything. So that's 100% transferred. So that will give you 150,000 transferred, all of them, right? Again, you started and completed. So you started, you also completed. So in terms of conversion cost, it's 100% 100 completed. So this will always be the same across the row. You know, whenever it's started and completed, it will always be the same 100% completed. Remember that. Just like you had completed and transferred out in weighted average method, always stays the same. Started and completed, always stays the same. Now we come to the ending inventory working process. The ending inventory working process, first, we start with the direct material. It says Z Corporation adds 20% material at the beginning of the process and the remaining 80% when the process is 50% completed. If you look at here, the process is not 50% completed, it's only 10% completed. So that means Z, only, Z has only added 20% during this period. So we are going to multiply by 20%, right? So 20% times column C or cell C22 will give us the direct material that we incurred during the current period. All right, move on to the conversion cost. The conversion cost, it says working process is 10% completed, so it's only 10% completed. So we are going to look for 10% during the current period of cell C22. So that gives us $5,000, 5,000 uh, units for the conversion cost. Now we are going to add this. So we have sum of D20 through D22. Add them together and we drag this here. So we have sum of um, E20. E20 through E22. You can see it in formula right here, E20 through E22. So if you look at it now, weighted average method has given us 260,000 in the equivalent units, whereas FIFO has given us 240,000 for direct material, 20,000 units different. And for conversion cost, weighted average uh, gave us 255,000, whereas FIFO gave us only 230,000 less than what weight average gave us. So both methods give us different amount of e equivalent units. Uh, so be careful. It depends on when you add the material that determines, you know, how much your equivalent units are going to be, right? In addition, both methods will always give you the different amount unless, unless, you don't have any beginning inventory or the ending inventory from the prior period. If that's the case, both methods will give you the same amount. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for live updates and other videos.